So tell me what you're doing here with Griffin. Well, Griffin has been in business, obviously, since the mid-90s when we did the Lionheart. And uh, Lionheart sales and kids playing declined in the late 90s, early 2000s. We started moving around trying to figure out what to do. We actually bid on a prime contract to be the, the Army's air defense training contractor. So we're now a prime contractor for the U.S. Army building training drones. When you see those stingers being shot over in Ukraine and around the world, Griffin Aerospace targets and pilots are actually training those guys how to use stinger missiles and man pads. So that's our primary revenue stream is from the U.S. Army, the Marine Corps. We manufacture about 45 airplanes a month. And this is kind of the genesis of, of many years of my love of making things that fly. I'm just nuts about making things that fly. Our aircraft have always been dependent upon runways or launchers. And we've learned that for being able to be expeditionary and move and operate wherever we want, VTOL is the future for unmanned aircraft, particularly where you, you drop an airplane and drop soldiers into remote locations. And then the other thing that drove this design is that I wanted long endurance, and in the equations for endurance, aspect ratio, which is long skinny wings, we all know long skinny wings, you see them in sail place. If you want to fly efficiently and low drag, you need to have long skinny wings. So that has been rumbling around in my brain as far as what configuration can we do VTOL with tilt rotors yet have long skinny wings. So that's what evolved towards this. We have large rotors in the front, small rotors in the back, but as you look at the picture of this, we were able to have the high aspect ratio of fish and wing design like a sailplane, VTAIL, and then these large props in front, Jim, carry 70% of the hover thrust and the back carries the other 30% of the hover thrust. And those of these are tilting front and rear are all four quad tilts. And once it goes from hover, to forward conversion, it takes about 45 seconds for us to go up to 80 feet and then actually actuate conversion and go to forward flight. As soon as we go to 45 knots or so, we break the front electric motors, the props fold just like this, so the aircraft is optimized towards cruise, but yet it's a VTOL aircraft. So this is all electric propulsion. So the motors are tilting electric. So what's this is called series hybrid. For that less than half percent of the mission, we need 34 horsepower to hover. That energy comes from stored batteries in the front. But after we convert, there's a generator, a gas heavy fuel generator back in the aft fuselage that's, that produces electricity for forward flight. So in hover, it takes about 34 horsepower. In forward flight, it takes about three. So the generator is sized for forward flight to, to maximize endurance. So that's the whole beauty of the design synergistically that we have big blades for hover, 70%. And then after we could do the conversion, the, the front blades stop, fold the blades, and then we fly off the back motors. We're very far down the road on the, on the flight testing on the Block 1 airframes, which you see here. Block 2 looks exactly like this, but inside is dramatically lighter. We've taken about 30 pounds out of the structure wow. with me redesigning, uh, a lot lighter structure. We now have an autoclave that's a totally autoclaved structure, much, much lighter, much higher compaction. And um, so we've come a long ways as far as the structures from the first one we did of this. We'll have to keep up with you. More important, we'll catch up with you in Denver at uh, yeah, AUVSI Denver. Expo 23. Yep, we'll be and there. please keep us up to date on everything, we okay? Will. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor.